my soul looked down from a vague height with death, as unremembering how I rose or why, and saw a sad land, weak with sweats of death, gray, cratered like the moon with hollow woe, and fitted with great pox and scabs of plaques. Across its beard, that horror of harsh wire, there moved thin caterpillars slowly uncoiled. It seemed they pushed themselves to be as plugs of ditches where they writhed and shriveled, killed. By them had slimy paths been trailed and scraped round myriad warts that might be little hills. From gloom's last dregs, these long-strung creatures crept and vanished out of dawn down hidden holes. And smell came up from these foul openings as out of mouths or deep wounds deepening. On dithering feet ungathered more and more brown strings toward strings of gray with bristling spines. All migrants from green fields intent on mire. Those that were gray of more abundant spawns ramped on the rest and ate them and were eaten. I saw their bitten backs curve, loop and straighten. I watched those agonies curl, lift and flatten. Whereat, in terror, what that sight might mean, I reeled and shivered earthward like a feather. And death fell with me like a deepening moan, and he, picking a manner of worm which half had hid, its bruises in the earth, but crawled no further, showed me its feet, the feet of many men, and the fresh, severed head of it, my head.